Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. Hi, again, welcome to uh, another part of the video of building the computer. Uh, and as you saw in the last video, I uh, fitted the motherboard. Uh, I'm now going to actually connect the um, uh, some of the cables to the motherboard. I've connected a few already, the fans and things, because they were a little bit tricky and take, um, kind of need to concentrate uh, on doing that. Uh, but anyway, I've managed to fit so far. I've worked out all the cables, managed uh, to get everything sorted. What I've done, I've fitted the um, CPU uh, cables here. Uh, there's an eight pin and there's a four pin. Four pin you have to make sure that there's uh, the you get the right side of the uh, it's in two fours joined in to one to make an eight pin. Uh, so you've got two eight pin connectors and you just have to make sure you join the right one um, to the four pin connector. Uh, the pins are a little bit different. It's like kind of like um, one side has got two square um, kind of um, uh, pins and uh, and two kind of not sort of semi square pins sort of thing uh, and um, so you've got to make sure you fit the right one to the right side um, and then I'm going to connect the power connector which is uh, this cable here and uh, again I've got to thread it through the cables here and actually the actual this one is the main power connector, the 24 pin, which goes again, it's got uh, a lug here. Make sure you fit it the right way round. And it goes this way. And again, the good thing with this case, it allows you to actually uh, cable manage. So you've got uh, nothing sort of in the way here at all. Uh, it's really good, it all come through this nice slot at the back. And right, so we've got that one done. I'm kind of holding this up so you can see as well, hopefully. And uh, I've got, oops, the table cloth is uh, kind of sliding a little bit as well. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, what I've done, I've got uh, the, this one here is the USB-C uh, cable, which I'm going to fit um, to the appropriate port, which is just here uh, on the motherboard. And again, it only goes one way round, I think. I need to check which way around that goes. Again, I'll push this at the back here so we can cable manage that behind later. And again, should know if we've got it the right way around or not. It goes in that way, I think. I'll just take that out, just check it doesn't go the other way. Also, and that will go in here. Again, don't bend the cables too flat. I know some people like to bend them really flat, but you might end up uh, putting strain on the socket uh, here. Uh, so it's best to just leave them uh, kind of like that, and then you can always tie them together uh, if need be. And uh, we've got the USB 3 cable here, which again, I move the SATA cables out of the way. We've also got a sound audio cable here. Um, again, the USB 3 will go next to the USB-C. So that goes again in here, it can only go one way, it's got a little lug on the top here and that can just go in here. And that connects the two USB-3 ports at the uh, top of the case. So again, that just goes in there, don't force it in, just make sure it goes in firmly but not forced in too much. And uh, then we've also got Pull off all the capacitors on the motherboard. Uh, this one is your power switch, which I need to just check which one that goes into uh, on there. Uh, and of course, we've got the SATA ports here. I'll actually put those in, see if we can get two of them in there and one in there. And uh, so I'll just check the actual uh, here, which will plug that one in. That one goes again, trying to actually see myself as well where they actually go. Oh, that's and so the sound one, as again, has got a little blocked out pin here, so it can only go one way round. And the audio connector goes on, you see it, they've got the lights shining and reflecting, so I can't actually see very well myself. Um, and I think that one goes, make sure the pin is lined up correctly. 
fit on there. Yes, I can see where that goes. And that's the audio there. Again, some sound cards may have these on. If you're fitting a sound card in, um, make sure if you want these connectors to work at the top, your sound card has got one of these um, there's connectors on there, not all sound cards do, so again, make sure um, which your sound cards are. And of course, this is all kind of neatly managed at the bottom. Now, of course, your um, power connector here, power switch, um, and um, so again, usually I uh, found on these the you've got a neg uh, positive and um, a negative uh, on there, and of course, usually I find on these you go put the writing set goes upside down usually um, it's always best to check in the manual so I'll just check in there and get back to you in a minute right so I found uh, I think where it goes so the actual power connector goes in according to this the top row of the pins and it's the um, so that goes not the first two pins but it goes in the next two pins here. I know um, ASUS used to have um, uh, kind of a little block thing which was really handy. You could actually um, kind of little block with all the actual uh, connectors on and the, um, told you what they all were. And that used to be really great because you could plug everything onto that little block and then plug the block onto the motherboard. But they stopped doing that for some reason or at least not doing it on this board. Um, maybe it's probably the the connectors are a um, bit better connectors um, without having the extra connections, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, so that's on there. So we've connected the SATA uh, port, we've connected the power for the fans. Uh, I've connected two fans to this one here, which says CPU optional as well, that's also a fan header. And uh, I've connected um, two fans to this one here as well, rather than all the fans connected just to one port. Um, I've got uh, this fan is connected to this one up here and one of these fans is connected to this and the other two are connected to here. Uh, there is a uh, one over here um, up there and there's also one at the bottom here as well for fans. So but of course it was a little bit of a stretch to get the fan to go to this one and again to this one okay this fan could have gone down to here but again it's just cable management and uh, sort of getting things uh, out the way really so you've not got things across here so when I fit the graphics card nothing to uh, hopefully nothing to snag on there uh, and it gives me a freer uh, connection on here uh, again this um, your graphics card, I mean these, you can bend these out of the way if your graphics card is longer and uh, which I don't think the one we're putting in is, uh, obviously you can get a huge graphics card in there, I don't think they make them that long <laughs> and uh, so anyway, so that's all pretty much ready to go, I've just got to put the graphics card in next, which I will do and um, I'll just put that down on here and again, I'm not tidying up the cables just yet because I need to make sure that uh, everything is going to work first and then once you're sure everything's going to work then you put in uh, then you can cable manage when you're finished and um, I know some people probably like to do it as they go along and um, again we've got uh, we've got a gigabyte uh, and it's the GeForce um, RTX 3060 Ti uh, on here which is uh, quite a good card it's, uh, it's about 370 pounds or so or thereabouts um, and uh, I'll take this one out uh, again there's no it's like a little you get a kind of a little leaflet thing with it but you don't get any actual uh, drivers uh, on a disc on a CD or DVD anymore and same with the motherboard actually you don't get any drivers so they assume that everything is going to Windows has got everything in there or you download it from the websites of course um, so the old old days used to get um, sort of a driver disc with it uh, which obviously it's kind of like penny pinching but again most people don't have um, uh, optical drives now in the computers and again putting this out again they've really sort of you can see the penny pinching now you pay more for your graphics card but they're putting in a very tight um, kind of packaging 
sort of thing. One time the packaging was just a little bit more generous on here. Now this, again, um, this is a graphics card, um, GeForce, and you've got two fans on here. This one says Eagle on here as well, the brand name. And again, you've got your connect uh, protectors on here, so you take those off. Um, and of course, um, you've got, again, this one, Looking where it takes, oh yes, the power connector here. So your um, GPU power connectors go on there. So it only takes one power connector on this one, so this is quite good. So um, we'll take off the plastic on here. Again, make sure there's no plastic on your motherboard or anything um, like this, because otherwise it will um, cause things to overheat, of course. Um, and of course that's obviously just protecting it there. I don't think that's going to make a difference to the heat dissipation, but um, that's just a bit of plastic. Probably whether that lights up or not, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, again, no, yeah, I thought there's some plastic on the fans, but there wasn't, no. And uh, anyway, so that will actually fit into the motherboard here. So again, it's probably best to lie this flat. And again, check on here that where you graphics card goes in and see which um, uh, um, you, things plates you have to take out the back so there's these two here I need to take out not quite the top one and uh, again this case is also um, allows you to also put in a graphics card here or here and um, again you've got that extra space down here um, so if you do get to a graphics card in the bottom but you can only really put two graphics cards in this motherboard because the PCI Express slots uh, these two are closer together of course it doesn't allow you to put in um, an extra uh, th three cards but then again um, do you really need three cards do you really need two cards of course some people will say yes but um, of course, uh, but if you must have that extra frame per second, I suppose, yes, you do need the extra cards. So take these and keep these safe. These are always handy to have. You probably never use them again ever, but uh, so um, again, so that's just drops in here. Make sure we're not actually covering um, you don't like to force these things in. That's it, drops in, fits in quite nicely, which is good, it means I've got the motherboard lined up um, okay on there. Yeah, that's dropped in nicely on there. And so that's good. And then I put these back in here. Again, this graphics card, it sticks up a little bit more perhaps than some do so um so i think it's that's made it a little bit trickier to get in so again you need kind of really tiny fingers to get in here so if you've got really big hands you're going to be uh, struggling to get in there for I mean my hands aren't that big so uh, but if you kind of um got like a big bricklayer hands then you're going to be uh, you're going to be struggling a little bit probably with this just to get that in there so you might as well you might have to get uh, get a child to come along and do it for you <laughs> and, uh, um, so yes so what I'm going to do um, now is feed the cable through the power cable through for this and once we know we've got everything working then you start cable managing properly afterwards um, you don't want to be uh, doing your cable management and then find your cables are snagged and you can't get them through here so again this one goes through here there are people out there who can put a, um, a square peg into a round hole <laughs> and I don't know how they do it but they do and uh, so anyway so that's uh, in there we can again we can sort of you know, uh, make sure that is not um, dangling under the fan here uh, we can 
just need to neatly push that back there. We can again we can put cable ties around these later. And uh, so anyway, that's all fitted. So we're almost good to go. Um, so we've got the power supply in there, all the cables connected, um, the CPU uh, power connectors there, and this one, the power connector. We've got all the other little cables in there, um, and uh, the SATA cables, and of course we've got all the drives, all the drives are connected, and um, the graphics card is now in place. So I think that is everything, I'm looking around to making sure um I've not got any things missing again we've got that cable ties here which we can use and the good thing about this case is it's got and it looks a little bit messy at the moment at the back because i've not sorted out the cables properly yet but you've got these kind of little uh things here where you can put cable ties through um and you can also use the uh, these sort of cable ties as well, but be careful these do have metal inside them. So um, As well, they kind of uh, um, So they've got plastic around them, but there is metal in there, which is good for kind of tying things up, but Make sure you don't Get them touching your circuits because you could if there's a break in the plastic You don't want to be shorting out um, anything so make sure these are well away from anything that's going to um, uh, have electrical contact to it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've got, so we're kind of like, again, we're going to tidy, tidy these up once we know we've got where everything is. We've got a little bit of leeway to move things around uh, a little bit. I mean, possibly, yes, you could even put these behind here, possibly, which kind of will clamp them in place, um, sort of thing, stop them from uh, when you put the side on here. Uh, again, we've got uh, PCI Express here, which we're not going to um, use that one. That's for another graphics card. Uh, we've got the Molex uh, cables here, again, which we're not going to use. And I'm not sure what this one is actually for, but it's connected to the case. But um, so again, I don't know if we're going to use that or not uh, for anything. I don't see anything to connect that to. And again, of course, the SATA cables, we're going to just, you know, we'll tidy up. Um, later and um, make sure that they're not uh, going to catch on anything. Once the side on, you're not going to see this side anyway, of course, and you're going to see the other side with the window in there. So anyway, so that's basically complete. So in the next video, we're going to actually be um, sort of turning this on and making sure um, it works. <laughs> so um, hopefully that will all work. So we'll get the moment of truth and uh, see if that um, switches on. And uh, okay, well, thank you all for watching, and uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, see you all in the next video, and uh, hopefully also some other out and about videos soon. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications for future videos. Future videos.